Okay, here's a quick video on how to get Game Boy games on your iPhone, download it directly from your iPhone, and put it on instead of ha having to SSH it and all that stuff. You can do this without a computer. First off, you're going to need GPS phone and mobile finder. Find that on IC or Cydia. If you have Installus, you don't have to do this. You're going to go need to go to IC or Cydia and download. I already have it. One second. Right there. Safari download plugin. If you already installed install us, it, in, it installs a version of it. I don't know what it's called for you. So you don't need to do that. Well, what you're going to need to do is go to Safari first. Then you have to go on Google. Just the little Google thing there. And then you're going to need to look up the game you want and then type ROM after it. So you're going to want to if I say I want Pokemon Ruby download. So I typed in Pokemon Ruby ROM. Google it. It's better off if you're on Wi-Fi or 3G cuz it does take a long time. So find one that looks pretty good. This one's not working. Go to this one. It's going to say you want to download it. Somewhere in here it's going to say you want to download it. So find the download link in here. Find the mirror. So here's one mirror. One sec, I have to close one of these. Okay. Here is, if you downloaded Install Us, this is what it's going to look like. If you downloaded Safari Download Plugin, it's going to look a little different. But it's going to pretty much be the same. So you're going to want to click Download. It should go really fast. Once it's done, go to, back to the home, then go to IC again, uh, IC, and make sure you have this installed. I think that it's installed automatically, I'm not sure. Unzip, and you're also going to need mobile terminal. If you have DTunes, a mobile terminal should be installed automatically. So I hid mobile term terminal, so I'm gonna have to go on Mobile Finder to forget it. Go to Applications, Mobile Terminal. So mobile terminal should be like a completely black screen with the keyboard. should look like this. I'm just showing you what this looks like. So you're going to want to go Mobile Finder now. Sound mine, sound body. Click the squiggly line. Click Library. Go down to... Downloads. Right there. Downloads. Then it'll pop up the ones that you downloaded. Uh, Pokemon Ruby, that's the one I downloaded. You don't want to double click that. You're going to want to rename it to something that you can remember. So I'll rename it to Ruby. Name it like that. It should be really simple so you can remember it. Once you're done renaming it, don't take out dot .zip. So then just go up again. Just click up in the corner right there then you can just, since I'm hiding mobile terminal, just go to mobile terminal. Okay. This is the kind of complicated part. I'll probably put a little subtitle here somewhere of what you should write. You're going to want to type in unzip space 
library slash downloads slash the file that you named it since I named mine Ruby dot zip don't forget to put the dot zip do you have it there click return if you'll know what's gonna work if it says GBA somewhere in there dot GBA so I think it's done yep it's done go to mobile finder you'll know if it's done if it says mobile s it'll just pop up like that so it should be the unzip version should be in the squiggly line you just find the one that Pokemon Ruby there it is click that click file copy Oops, sorry copy make sure it still says paste or cancel then go to media ROMs Oops, sorry ROMs where is it ROMs 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 then GBA then it'll show you the GBS BIOS dot bin if you don't have that you must you have to if you don't see it there you have to install that in I see just look up GBS phone and I'll say BIOS or something like that install that so those are all the games I have I have Mario Power Tennis Power Tour and Pokemon Emerald so once you're in here click paste To just if it freezes like this, just leave it because it will paste in there eventually. And there it is. So you can rename it now. You can just rename it into anything you want if you don't want the E in there. So just click back now. Then you can just go on GPS phone. There are all your games and Pokemon Ruby. Pick what settings you want. Sometimes it takes a little bit to start loading up. If you have any questions on how to do this and you're stuck somewhere, tell me where you're stuck and I will send you a private message telling you how to fix this. And thanks for watching. Subscribe.